Welcome to this presentation of VisiPeps Wire. We are now at the beta testing stage of this development, which is due to be released in June of 2010. As you can see from the tree view, we have created a stock part as well as the component piece, and we can use both of these in the simulation, which you will see later. By highlighting the model manager in the tree view, we can then run recognition. This will find all the ruled surface geometry available in the solid model and used in the wiring process. For those of you who are familiar with Visi machining, you will see that the process is identical to that to find 2D pockets and drilling features within the milling components. These Visi product movies are designed to show the advantages of having a truly integrated system, bringing with it the ease of use one user interface and one database for all your solid modeling, machining, laser cutting and wire EDM technologies. Having run the feature recognition, we now have a ruled surface in our feature tree. We can investigate the properties of this feature and because it's been created directly from the side, it knows that it is exactly 100 millimeters high. We can also go in and have a look at the constraints that actually make up this particular ruled surface and if we need to we can actually edit their positions. Or we can literally just have a quick look at the taper angles at any given point on the ruled surface. So let's have a quick look at this on the screen. To investigate these angles it can be very useful to make sure that you do not run out of any limits that you might have on your wire machine. We will now take it the next stage further and actually use this ruled surface for the wiring process itself. If we now come out of the edit constraints option, uh, we can then go back to the tree view and highlight the ruled surface and add operation. This enables us to add a four axis wiring operation and choose the machine which we're going to be using for doing the cutting. This then generates a four axis wire program with default settings, which is a single cut. And because it is a punch, the lead is done from the outside. The next part of the operation is go to the wire tag and have a look at the project settings. In here, we can change the material which is being cut. We can also change the wire size and wire material. This also enables us to check that the piece and the stock are also valid and available for the simulation later. By going to the machine tag, we can also fine tune this to the control system that we are going to be using. The four axis toolpath we have at the moment has default settings. As you can see, we've only got one cut at the moment but we can go into our uh, technology table and actually then apply a three cut specifically for the Agi machine. We come down to the thickness of material of 100 millimeters. We can then go in and search for three cut technology. Once we've selected this, we can then go into the dialog and make sure that we have the uh, offsets and power settings specific for each of those cuts. What we're looking to do now is go into the tagging option and actually change uh, tagging distance that we're going to add in here of three millimeters. And we're also going to add in um, a length of this particular tag and also lead ons to actually approach the, the part from the tag and to the tag. Now the tagging details have been entered, uh, let's have a look at changing the top and bottom nozzle heights. We can do this by uh, actually snapping onto geometry uh, in the model itself uh, to give us the highest point of the model. This shows at 100 millimeters, so if we just add an extra five onto that and obviously put in minus five to give us the bottom edge for the simulation. We now have a new four axis toolpath with the tagging options applied as we uh, determined. We can now see that we have uh, our triple cut toolpath and uh, a tagging operation available to us. 
Now this tagging at the moment is doing triple cut on the tag itself. But in some cases you might find you want to go in and modify this so that you can grind the tag later and uh, just use a single cut uh, for this part of the operation only. We have an option down here just to tick the box uh, to enable you just to get a single cut for tagging only. Now we have the four axis wire path that we require. We can go to the project and actually then call on the solid simulation or the kinematic simulation. This reads in the solid stock as well as the piece that we're going to wire and it uses both of those to generate the solid simulation. You will notice that the top and bottom nozzles are 5mm higher than the stock which was determined in the previous dialogue. Let's now run the simulation. As you can see the wire is now approaching the stock but it's very difficult to see inside so what we can do here is to actually make the stock translucent so that we can actually see inside. We can also speed up and slow down the animation so that we can get a better feel for what is actually going on. This process will then run right the way through um, till we've actually done all three cuts and uh, we can then move on to what we call a, a separation dialogue. And this will graphically indicate to us whether the actual part itself can be removed from the stock material. We will we'll determine whether we can extract it from above or below and will also give us an idea of whether we have a trapped situation. The solid simulation not only enables you to actually display the stock part and also the finished piece, it can also enable you to uh, put into the equation uh, clamps and fixturing systems uh, so you can actually see those in conjunction with the, the wiring program. Having complete the simulation of the wire path we can now move on to the separation dialogue which will indicate graphically whether the part can be removed safely from either the Z positive or negative directions. As you can see from the crosses in the dialogue, it's already indicated to you uh, this is not possible, but if we do it graphically, it physically shows that it cannot be removed. If you want to override this, you can and uh, continue with the end of the simulation to show the, the single cut for the tag at the end. If you would like to know more information about our products, or if you have any questions, please call us on 01242 542 040 or just email us at sales at vero.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching this presentation of Fizzy Pepswire.